Hey, hey, hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Jenny here, the Uncrafty Crafter. It has been a minute. It has been a couple of minutes since I have filmed any sort of videos. Um, and today I am filming a whipping chat for the, um, it's my week to do the, um, uh, hashtag DP pink for BCA, um, event. So thanks everybody for popping by. Like I said, sorry, it's been a minute. Uh, we got a little bit to talk about, right? First of all, I'll tell you what I'm working on. Um, the DP pink for BCA, um, is anything pink? And I did not have anything breast cancer awareness related as far as diamond painting goes or any other crafts. Um, but this one is Java Joanna. Uh, a couple reasons why I chose this one. Um, it does have pink in it. Um, and it has coffee. I mean, it's, you know, you guys know me. Coffee, 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 right? Um, but also... Um, it gives me, you know, as far as the whole, like, cancer topic, um, I know that this is breast cancer awareness related. However, um, my life has been affected in many, many ways by cancer. Um, and... My mom passed away from cancer um, several years ago, and she was a coffee drinker, and um, so that's kind of why I'm doing this one for this month more than anything else. But anyway, it just kind of reminded me of my mom. Um, the little girl, Jabba Joanna here, has this cute little knitted or crocheted hat. My mom loved to crochet and knit. Um, she liked to knit more than crochet, but anyway. And the little girl has like brown eyes, you know. And so my mom had brown eyes and uh, yeah. So anyway, moving forward. Um, so pre DP Pink for BCA event, prior to that, whenever Angie um, was like working on the event, getting it ready, um, adding like co-hosts and things. I offered um, because I was in a live with her when she was talking about the event. And I was like, you know what? My life has been affected by cancer. My mom passed away from cancer. I've had a lot of family members um, pass away from cancer. And I just kind of thought, you know, I would like to co-host, um, bring awareness to the whole thing, you know? And, um, oddly though, the breast cancer, the family members that I have that have passed away from cancer, none of them were breast cancer. Um, I know this is a breast cancer event, like I said, but, um, anyway, um, let me move things out of my way so I can get started on this diamond painting. Okay, I think I got my wits about me now. So, anyway, what I was saying was, um, I don't really remember what I was saying, but, um, I'm like rattle trap brain today. I think it's the topic that has me, because I don't really know which way I want to go with this conversation. Um, a lot of you know that most recent, um, we had a, um, longtime family friend stay with us. Um, he was in hospice. He had started hospice care. Um, he had stage four colon cancer, um, hit the end of his treatment, uh, option. I'm going to get a drink of coffee. Um, and because he had no family and friends, um, that lived nearby, every, his family's from Germany. But anyway, we, um, sort of just offered to let him, you know, 
come and hang out um, and stay with us for um, what, you know, time he had left. Um, yeah, I mean, it's awkward saying that, you know, but, um, <sighs> this is tough. Oh, by the way, this is, um, a tray from Shay. She sent me this tray as a gift. Her and her husband, um, are making these trays. Isn't it cute? It has this little heart charm here and a spout. It's a wood hybrid, um, so it's regular filament here, you know, the colored part, but the dark brown part um, is wood filament. So it's a hybrid, it's very, very cool. Um, anyway, long story short, he stayed with us for a few weeks and he passed away on October the 2nd. Um, Prior to the event starting, um, I had messaged Angie and was like, you know what, this is going on. I didn't know that this was going to be going on whenever that we were going to be taking care of him. Whenever I offered to co-host this event a few months ago. Um, and I told her that I didn't know how much I would be able to offer um, as far as being a co-host, you know what I mean? So, um, she was like, you know, it's, it's fine. All we need, you know, is, is for you to do a whip and chat. That's really all that you got to do and, and do the giveaway. And, um, there were, there are some other co-hosts, um, that have done the same, you know, but anyway. Um, I felt bad because I wasn't able to promote it like I wanted to. Um, the reason being is because we had this going on and I wasn't available much of the time, you know, I wasn't, um, available to be online and, um, doing stuff like that because, um, he needed, our friend needed a lot of attention and care, and, um, so, but, um, also, uh, you know, the event starts October the 1st, and then he passed away on October the 2nd, and so, this entire month, I mean, not only did that happen with him, um, but then there was also my husband and our my anniver wedding anniversary was on the 11th. Um, my birthday was on the 13th. So there was a lot of uh, positives that weren't really positive. You know what I'm saying? It was hard to celebrate with what had just happened. And I was having a hard time even wrapping my brain around this event. And so I just kept pushing it off. This is such an awkward whip and chat and I'm so sorry. But anyway, um, I just, um, you know, I don't know. I really don't know. Okay, I'm back again. Um, yeah, this I'm just really having a hard time talking about this and finding the right words to say because I feel like I've done nothing but talk about this for the last quite a bit of time, like the last couple of months. Um, and uh, it's just kind of one of those things where I... I'm done talking about it. Um, and so because of that, um, you know, this whip and chat already has been very, um, 
a lot of words with not a lot of like meaning. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I don't know. But anyway, um, I will say to Angie, Mindy, Maritza, um, you girls are solid rocks. Um, thank you for doing such an amazing job, um, especially Angie. Um, I appreciate you for allowing me to be a part of this event, even though I wasn't really a part of this event, if that makes sense. Um, I'm sorry that I wasn't, um, but I wanted to hold up my end of the bargain. And so I will be doing a giveaway that there will be a giveaway in this event. So, um, what I'm, what I'm going to do is, um, you guys know that I have an Etsy shop and I do, uh, cover minders, um, the O oh Snap Crafters Cafe, and I have, um, like scented cover minders and different, like, snappable cover minders, and so I'm going to do an assortment of, uh, cover minder base, um, with some different snaps, um, including a breast cancer awareness snap, um, and a scented snap, um, so anyway, um, a variety of like pink ish, you know what I'm saying? Snaps. So that's going to be the giveaway that I'm going to have. Um, there will be a couple of additional little, um, uh, pink fun goodies that I will include in the pack package that I send out to the winner. Um, so just keep in mind that, um, there will be the cover minders and then just a few extra little goodies, uh, to be included. So, uh, the way that you'll want to enter is by uh, commenting on this video, um, and please use the word pink in your comment, P-I-N-K, pink, in your comment, um, and I will use that word as the, like, keyword or whatever to draw a winner um, by next Tuesday. So I'll do another whip and chat um, the following Tuesday and announce the winner then. So entries will be um, open until, I mean, you'll be allowed to comment until like Monday night-ish, somewhere around in there, Tuesday during the day, um, up until I, you know, choose the winner. So anyway, that's how that will work. And then I will, um, draw the winner and get a hold of that winner and get their information to send some goodies out. Um, but anyway, um, let's just chit chat about something more happy ish. Okay. Okay. This diamond painting, Java Joanna was a gift sent to me from Sandra West. Uh, Sandra knows me, right? I mean, she knows I love coffee. She knows I love craftably. Um, and Sandra's just an amazing friend. So I appreciate you, Sandra, for sending me this beautiful uh, diamond painting. And honestly, I haven't diamond painted in a while. This is the first one I've kitted up um, in, a, in a little bit. Um, I've been doing a lot of cross-stitching lately. Um, thanks, Bev B and Abigail Marie and all of the other cross, or as Christopher Colossa calls us, thready people, thread people. <sighs> but yeah, um, I've enjoyed it. And um, I, will, I will say I was missing diamond painting. I kind of wanted to diamond paint a little bit. So, um Got to make sure this is still recording, and it is. So, anyway, I'm going to move on to the P symbol, which is this one. Um, and I've gotten, I started on this a few days ago. I've only finished a couple of um, 
release paper sections. Um, but the cross paint or the cross painting, oh my God, the cross stitching, the cross stitch that I'm working on is the Autumn Beauties Sow stitch along. And I um, am trying to stay caught up because there was already the next um, section was released. Um, and um, I'm like still working on the second section. So <laughs> I'm just trying to get caught up a little bit. But um, this, like I said, this painting came from Sandra. And it's just a feel-good painting. It's a round, which helps because, you know, I love squares, but I'm, like, not in the in the um, square-ish mood right now. However, Abigail Marie is hosting the event next month in November called No Start November. Um, and because of that, I need to become a serial starter and get two or three other diamond paintings kitted up so that I can <laughs> and start them, you know, get them started before November the 1st so that, um, so that I can have something to work on in November. Um, cause I'm not a serial starter. Once I start a diamond painting, I finish it. Um, but you know, I mean, oof, I don't know. I just, it makes me nervous having too many, at the idea of having a bunch of whips going. You know what I'm saying? That makes me nervous. Um, one, two, three, four, five. But, I'm excited for it. Um, because I've never been a serial starter. I have had like two diamond paintings going at the same time. Because I have two places where I diamond paint. I have one in here in my bedroom usually um, that I film um, when I do like live streams or whipping chats. And then I sometimes have another one going on in my living room on my craft desk in there in my living room. Um, so... Sometimes I'll have two different ones going. And, uh, but not always. Usually not, but sometimes I do. So, we'll see what it's like to be a serial starter for a month with this whole no start November or no new start November or whatever it's called. I don't know. Um,. But I'll need to invest in some of those little pants hangers, you know what I'm talking about, that you like can hang your diamond paintings on to like store them away when you're not working on them. I need some of those. Somebody said that you can like go to Walmart or Target or wherever you can buy like clothing and ask them for pants hangers like and they'll give them to you from like the fitting room area, um, which is kind of cool. I mean, I'd rather do that than buy a bunch, you know. So I might do that. I might, I might do that. That way, I have a few um, to hang things up as I work on things in November. I'm going to try to be one of those, if I'm going to be a serial starter, I need to do it now in October, like I said, because come November the 1, no new starts are allowed if you're participating in the No Start November event. So, we'll see what being a serial starter is like um, and have multiple whips for November. Multiple current whips for November, right? We'll see. We'll see. If it makes my brain explode, then I will um, not continue doing that. 
um, off topic, my desk area in my living room. So Jolie is a climber and she's nosy, my little two year old. And she, as soon as I leave the room, she will pull the chair out, climb up on the chair, climb up on my desk, get into all of my stuff um, that's on the desk. And that includes diamond painting things, cross stitching things, and shop related things, like cover minder making things. Um, and she just has a blast. You know, she just pulls everything out, plays with it, and you know, and so I'm like, okay, the last thing I need for her to do is fall off this desk with a pair of tweezers or a pair of like scissors, which the scissors I use are not like, they're kitty scissors, but they're still, I mean, she could cut her hair with them, you know, but anyway. So trying to, just trying to figure out what in the world to do. And I tried the baby gate method, right? That didn't work. That didn't work, not even a little bit. So, I mean, I took like a, I have like a four panel gate that turns into a square, like, um, gated set, or what do you call it? What do you call those? I got it on Amazon. Um, but anyway, it's super cute. It has a little doggy door in it that you can lock and unlock. But anyway, um, I got that when I first got Poppy as a puppy to like try to like crate to train her or whatever, you know, even though it's not an actual crate. But, um, and then when we stopped using it, I just like took it apart because it, like I said, has four panels that you can put together. Um, and so then I put it up until we needed it again. And then when I needed it again was here, whenever I put the, um, was trying to keep Jolie off of my desk, right? And hmm, so she figured that out. So that didn't work. So I told Dale, I'm like, the only other thing I know to do, oh shoot, I just, oh my God. You too can be a diamond painter, right? Um, so I told Dale, I'm like, I'm gonna have to figure something out because I can't, I mean, I'm not one of those people who can have a clean desk. Like, I'm not, one of those like minimalist I try to be but yeah that don't really work well for me so I ended up I have a big closet in my bedroom it's like a double door big double door closet it's not a walk-in closet but it's very nice sized right um and it has those wire like shelving units in it and so anyway, I like separated because I keep his clothes on one side, my clothes on the other side of the closet. And I just kind of like made a big open space in the middle and rearranged things. And so I'm able to keep like inventory in there, um, like uh, bubble mailers, my stickers for the outside of the bubble mailer, um, my little goodie bags that I include in my orders, you know, all that kind of stuff. And then I have another table in the corner of my bedroom where I can sit and like work on and make the cover minders, right? And so I just kind of moved everything in here and um, we'll see how it works out. And my husband is like, so is that closet going to be your, like, office forever? And I'm like, well, at least until she's old enough to, like, leave stuff alone. You know what I mean? I mean, kids get to a certain age where they, like, don't bother that kind of stuff. And so once she hits that age, then I'll be, we'll be able to have our, our regular closet back. But 
those closet doors, you know, I can shut everything up in there and, and it keeps it out of sight and, you know, I don't have to look at it all the time and she's not able to get in there. <sighs> so makes me feel better knowing that I can keep all that stuff in there and I don't have to like keep an eye on it and her 24 seven. So I had to get another swig of coffee, but it's like whenever you have toddlers, especially very nosy toddlers, right? You have to kind of like always be changing, always be like doing things differently and find out what works and what don't work and, you know, child proofing, so to speak. But mercy sakes, she's just the nosiest little girl ever. Okay, so now I'm on number two. Um, but we'll see how this little office um, craft space slash workspace turns out. Um, I did order another baby gate for the bedroom door um, so that when I am in here working, I can keep the bedroom door open so that I can hear her and see her, you know, because um, we have another like baby gate. We have baby gates all over our house. So we have another baby gate at the end of our hallway that she can't get over and so that keeps her contained to the living room and the hallway and her bedroom where she can have free reign and play and do whatever she wants you know um and so um whenever i get the baby gate it should be here thursday so whenever i get that baby gate i can put it up in the bedroom my bedroom doorway um and then that way I can keep my door open so I can see her and hear her while I'm in here working um, and be able to keep her out of the things. So it's a different kind of baby gate though. It's one of those like mesh retractable ones. Um, it had really, really good reviews on Amazon. My husband's like, yeah, that's gonna last all of two seconds. And I'm like, well, I mean, if it does, it does. If it don't, it don't. I don't know. We'll see. I mean, it is meant to be a baby gate. And it says four dogs, too, you know. So, not that I care to keep Poppy out of here. Poppy can come and go as she pleases. Because Poppy don't, you know, get into all my stuff. What the baby does. Oh, nails. Forgot to mention my nails. Um, Beth from Shine Like a Diamond sent me these as a gift, and, um, I love them. They're beautiful. Um, she sent me these. They're kind of like a galaxy, you know? Um, she did tell me that some of them were different, like this one was different, and this one was different than the rest of them, but she said, you know, it's kind of like, um accent nails or whatever. And I was like, okay, I don't care. I don't, they don't all have to be the same. I love them as they are. She sent me another set too. Um, that is like a purple that like turns into a black shimmery. They're really, really pretty. And, um, she did a really good job on them, but she does a lot of like marbling Whereas Brandy from Mystery of Diamonds is really good at the whole gradient thing. Is that what it's called? Uh, I think that's what it's called. But they're both so good at that kind of thing. And I'm like not um, artistic in that way. Like if I'm gonna paint my nails, I'm just gonna paint them a solid color. You know what I'm saying? Maybe put a little bit of a glittery top coat on them or something, but um, yeah, so, but I do love my nails, and I want to get, um, the candy corn ones, because Mistria 
on her um, nail shop on Etsy, she has some candy corn nails that are super cute. And I still need to get a set of those. I gotta get a set of those ASAP because um, it's already, you know, the middle of October or, well, today's the 20th, which by the way, today um, is my friend Dita that passed away. It says today is his birthday. So happy birthday in heaven, friend. Um, Um, but guys, I'm going to go ahead and cut this off. I know it's super short, super random and weird and all of the, you know, I struggled with this whipping chat and I didn't even get into anything serious. Like I had considered like telling my mom's story, telling Dita's story, um, my aunt, my dad, um, but I just didn't and couldn't, and I was not, not of that mind frame, um, even though that's what this month is about, so I just can't bring myself to do it, so maybe another time, maybe another day, um, but I appreciate you guys for being so sweet and awesome and supportive um, the last couple of months. And Angie, I thank you so much for being so, like, patient with me um, throughout this event. Um, you've done such a good job, and I wish that I could have been more, um, you know, in it. Uh, involved, I guess. Um, but anyway, maybe next time, um, if you do this event again, you know, um, but we'll see, we'll see what happens. So thank you guys so much for hanging out, uh, for a little bit today. Uh, hope that I didn't like bore you to tears or, um, make you feel all kinds of awkward and weird, like, because I feel very awkward and weird today doing this. I don't know. It's not my normal whipping chat. I haven't done a whipping chat in a while. I haven't filmed a video in a while. Like, just all kinds of weirdness today, so. But, uh, don't forget about the giveaway. Um, make sure to use the word pink in your comment. You can comment with anything. <clears throat> Uh, doesn't have to be any topic. Just, I mean, I don't want you to just put the word pink. Don't do that. Leave a sentence, you know. Um, leave a nice sentence or two or a paragraph or whatever with the word pink, right? With the word pink in it. Um, and that'll be that. You guys have a great rest of your day. <clears throat> I'm going to edit the heck out of this video because I had to start and stop a billion times. And um, I'll get this uploaded today sometime. So, anyway, thanks for stopping by. Thanks for hanging out. You guys have an amazing rest of your day and an amazing rest of your week. And I'll talk to you soon. I love you guys. Bye.